Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're at Mapleton Falls again, a beautiful valley. If you've seen the inversion video, uh, you know all about this place. We're out going to test the new Freewell wide angle and anamorphic lens and ND stack filters. Uh, just got them in, perfect spot for it. Some beautiful light, clouds, great day to fly the drone, not much wind, beautiful big tall waterfalls, probably 80, 100 meters or something like that. So we're gonna try a vertical pano and uh, yeah, see what we can do. And then we might go for a little quick hike through and get some shots in there as well. Radio, without further ado, let's go test out these new filters from Freewell. Radio, bye. First of all, probably until I get back in the video, uh, back to edit and see what it looks like. Footage wise, look not too bad. Um, anamorphic, you could sort of see some flares, especially when I spun it vertical. There were some sun flares coming through, which I'm not sure how they're gonna sort of, I guess, show up. So we'll see what happens, I guess. In the, you'll see that in the footage. ND filters fit really well. I had no overload warnings for the gimbal. I had seen a couple of videos where they had some trickiness getting gimbal warnings. I basically fitted the ND, picked the ND filter I pretty much want. So it's a fairly sunny day, so I think I started off, there's some footage there with a 128 ND. I had that on the anamorphic, and then I dropped it down to the ND64 when I went the wide angle. So I'll have them, you would have seen them, I'll have them marked up should see the difference I'm assuming even though I'll grade the colors and stuff there should be a little bit of difference in there so fit and finish no dramas I can see you can see the pack standard free wall pack nicely nicely made little case to keep it all protected so that's good you have in there you've got a ND16 32 64 128 and 256 so even on the brightest day you're pretty much good to go and I think that's really all you need. If you're going to be using a anamorphic, that's probably going to be low light. So you're probably not really going to use the ND filters, I would imagine. It's more, be more sunrise, sunset. And I'll do some testing of that at work. The wide angle, I could definitely see the difference in the video on the RC controller. So that was good to see that extra wide, wide shot, how much extra you can fit in there. And in a big, big wide open space like this, it's actually probably pretty handy because you can fit more in so you can just do one run and and then show off everything and in worst case you can come in and crop it it's 4k so you can definitely crop it a little bit if you need to so yeah look i'm pretty impressed with it fit quality and all that sort of stuff 
definitely worthwhile and something else to have in the arsenal for that certain occasion when you need it. Well, we come from Mapleton Falls to here. I didn't want to really guess, I, I guess, go just with Mapleton. I want, it was a beautiful day and it's a beautiful spot. But I wanted to come here because on days like this, uh, I've had clouds, beautiful sunsets, the beautiful Pilbara Range. It's pretty hard to knock back. Uh, if I can get anamorphic effect in the Mini 3 as well, that is a massive bonus. Um, so definitely worth the risk, I guess, of, of spending the money. It's not a cheap set. I think it's about a hundred and something dollars Australian for the set. Obviously really well made. Freewell's always done a good job making filters. There's no quality wise, you, you don't have a dramas with Freewell. Uh, shipping and all that, pretty good. It is a little bit slow coming to Australia from China. There could be freight issues or whatever, but it's not like super mega fast. Can't say nothing about the quality, definitely a good set. So in the quality ranks, good case, all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna get up, got another sunset. Uh, we've got a, I've got a bit of footage from the last couple of days. I'm gonna get up tonight and get some more. Well, the sun's about to go down, so it's time to get the drone out and uh, can I get some more footage? Right, I'll see you shortly and then we'll finish off and have a chat.
done and dusted. I hope that's enough footage for you there. The free well, wide angle and anamorphic filter set. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. The footage will, I think, say a little bit more than what I can sort of say. It's, it's hard to see it on screen that to sort of see if that's got that compression, it's got that wide, big film feel about it, say like a the shining or one of those films from the 60s or 70s that have that in it that really started the anamorphic trend if we can get that into this beautiful little drone that will be amazing uh, hopefully free oil has done it and managed to achieve it won't know until i get into the footage you'll have already seen the footage hope you did enjoy it the wide angle lens i'm not a really 100 percent convinced on i'm still like the billet i can do panos and any sort of panos with this anyway so I don't know really if the wide angle is really needed. So it's sort of, that's probably a much of a muchness, but this is really all about the anamorphic, the quality and the, of the filters. There's no doubt about that. Freewell has that down pat. They're a great company. Uh, they do, they make great quality lenses. So Mini 3 Pro anamorphic test. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gives you a bit, bit of idea if it's any good, if it's worthwhile putting it into your kit. Uh, to get that sort of I guess, cinematic jam on it. Beautiful, cloudy, last couple of days have been fantastic, perfect for getting out and getting a bit more footage for this, a bit of low light stuff, a bit of cloud, beautiful big sunsets. Now the only other issue I did have with it was obviously with the sunset, and you might have seen it tonight, I'll try and make sure I put that in, is the reason we went the free world gradient filters is with that sunset, you get the blowout and then it makes the ground dark. So you, it's hard to control that sun with an ND filter and then be able to see below you. So again, because you don't have that in this, that anamorphic effect, I'm not sure if it's really gonna work, but getting a nice anamorphic effect sunset, it's gonna be really tricky because the dynamic range in these drones just isn't big enough to handle that big sunset and the dark ground that we have here. That was my only sort of thing, if they could do some square gradient filters free well that then would bolt onto the anamorphic if the anamorphic works and the wide angle works then yes that will again be good but because they're a different sort of food you sort of can't mix and match but uh, some gradient versions of these will be really handy uh, some square ones that you can just put straight over the top of the anamorphic lens righto that's enough for me chatting hope you enjoyed it uh, hit subscribe like and all that fun stuff i will see you next sunday have a great week and uh, go check it out. Peace.